Here I have the master model which I started in the previous lesson. So far I've created swept surfaces around the places where a finger would need to touch the phone. Now I'll finish the master model by adding clearance areas around other things, like the speakers, the camera, and power and headphone jacks. I'll start by adding a clearance area for the camera on the back. I'll start a sketch on the back surface. Sketch a circle around the camera. And I also need a second smaller circle for the flash. You can't see the face of the flash very easily, but if I hover here, you can see the circular face highlights. I'll use that center point for this circle. Now I'll use the line tool to connect the circles. and use the Trim Entities tool to get rid of the excess. Now I'll use the Sketch Fillet tool to round out the edges using a 4mm radius. I'll add some dimensions to define the sketch. And exit the sketch. I'll click Extruded Surface and use the sketch I just made to create an extruded surface that goes in both directions. And click OK to complete the feature. The next sketch is at the bottom of the phone where all the connection ports are, as well as the main speaker. This doesn't have a flat surface for me to create a sketch on, so I'll add one. I'll go to Reference Geometry and select Plane, and I'll create a plane parallel to the front plane. And for the second reference, I'll select this point at the bottom. Click OK to exit and start a sketch on the plane. Unlike the camera, which has an arbitrary clearance plane, the connection ports require a specific amount of space around them for clearance. A standard 3.5mm headphone jack needs a 6mm diameter clearance around it so that you can plug your headphones in. I'll dimension the clearance hole. And for the microphone hole, I'll use 3mm. The power adapter will depend on the type of phone you have, for this model, I'll use offset entities and use an offset of 1.5 millimeters on all sides. I'll sketch a slot around the speakers and give that a radius of 1.5 millimeters. To improve the aesthetics, I'll use a three-point arc to connect the microphone clearance hole and the headphone jack with a radius. Trim the circles. I'll give the arcs an equal relation. Add a dimension. And don't forget to make these arcs tangent to the rest of the sketch. For the arc dimension, I've used 2.5 millimeters. Once these three sketches are defined, I'll exit the sketch and open the Extruded Surface command again. I'll make sure the extrudes go in two directions. And click OK. The last thing I'll do is make the surface bodies a different color. 
in order to distinguish them from the rest of the model. I'll select the Surface Bodies folder, expand the Feature Tree Manager, and click the Appearance icon that shows up, and select Appearance. The Color Property Manager appears with all the surface bodies already selected. I'll select a green color, and click OK to exit. This completes the master model, which is now ready for use in designing the phone case.